So typically, like in the case of NVIDIA, when they have a new release, they update CUDA. For example, the Broadwell line of chips is very different than the previous two generations. Um, and they actually removed a lot of the graphic stuff because Broadwell is really focused on AI stuff and not so much on graphics. But to the programmer, when you're writing a program to use CUDA, you don't know and you don't care. You just expect it to work. But the downside is CUDA being what it is, is it tries to find the medium, the happy medium. So you get good enough performance, but it's not the optimal because there's trade-offs. And this allows NVIDIA to change the architecture from one generation to the next quite a bit. And so that, that's why NVIDIA is the king of gaming because they've made this CUDA layer so that it works with really old GPUs from 10 years ago and something new in the future. Now for, M for ML and AI, you don't need all that stuff. You just need to figure out how to parallelize your work so that it runs as fast as possible. And if you bypass CUDA and go back to the driver, you could do it if you have the expertise. But in reality, most programmers don't have that expertise. I mean, that's like a, my guess would be less than 1% of engineers have that skill.